Right guys, how are you doing? Running diary number three. So, Spider-Man. Just thought I'd say that. I like to share. Um, so, today's run was another long run and it was meant to be 19 miles, but I did 20 instead because I was with the London Midnight Runners at midday, of course. It's already dark outside. What is with this? Um, but yeah, we ran along the Thames Path from Hyde Park um, and then kind of ran back after getting quite far. Canary Wharf, Canada Water area, um, ran back. It's pretty good, nice. you know? And we got faster as we got to the end, which was interesting, but you know, good to know that one can do so. Um, and yeah, I think I've improved. I hope I've improved. Some people have noticed I've improved, so that's good. So today, I thought I would keep these um, running diaries informative, educational, as opposed to just entertaining, obviously. Um, I thought I would talk about running form today, and I'm just going to break it into three things. So it's going to be your legs, your head, and your arms. I'll start with the head. So when you're running you should have your head held still and straight you know neck relaxed and um, look straight ahead but slightly downward so you're also able to see 10 to 50 meters of like you know the floor in front of you not just looking far 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 into the distance because lord knows whenever i've tried that i've fallen over promptly um i'm accident prone next thing is arms okay um reading this book, The Art of Running Faster, has made it even clearer why the arms are so important. Because you're able to shift the weight from one foot to the other quicker if you're um, pulling backwards. It's the backwards pull with the arm. If you're pulling backwards with the arms at the right time and speed, you will actually be able to help accelerate your legs um, by moving the weight from one foot to the other. So pulling backwards one at a time. The arms should be relaxed at your sides, but at an angle less than 90 degrees, so kind of like ugh, there. And, and the faster your arms go, the faster your legs go. So whenever I'm trying to tell myself quick feet, I also notice that I make my arms go a bit faster as well. So yeah, you have to train yourself to do that, and I've been training myself to do that in the last four or so weeks. And lastly, your legs. So when you're running, you should feel as if you're falling slightly forward. So your knees are bent and your feet are moving very quickly. So by bending your knees, you're able to move your legs almost like a cyclist. So there's more fluid motion and you're not feeling like you're breaking at any point, as in breaking to stop yourself, because that will actually be using up more energy and it's not economical. Um, the other thing is that you feel with that slight leaning forward, almost like you're about to fall forward. You feel like if you don't move your other foot quite quickly to take the next step, you would fall. So that's how you should feel when you're running. Um, so just kind of like you're falling forwards, not necessarily leaning forwards at your body, but actually just bent and ready to take the next step. Of course, what I've been learning that's made a really big difference in my times is uh, fast feet, quick feet. So by increasing the turn over your feet, your cadence if you were a cyclist, but it also works for running, by increasing how quickly your strides are, um, rather than trying to take long, slow strides, you actually are using your energy more efficiently. But even just increasing your quick feet moves will make you faster, which is what a lot of people have been noting whenever I've gone for the long runs with them. They're like, you're still able to go really quite fast. And these are speeds that I didn't even used to do when I was doing just 5 and 10 Ks. So, and it's just from like quick, small strides. And then my strides are getting a little bit bigger, but actually, like whenever I see that, for instance, I'm trying to catch up with someone in front in the group, I just don't try and give into like trying to stride out. I just immediately go quick feet and my arms go faster and I catch up. And I'm not like huffing and puffing, which I would usually be doing if I was taking larger strides. Right guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, once again, please sponsor me. Go to www.virginmoneygiving forward slash Lola Runs and sponsor me. <laughs> um, it's for Macmillan Cancer Support. They make uh, 
a heck of a difference in the lives of so many people. So I would really appreciate your support. All right, guys, be good and God bless. My little brother's starting running. He started running, I think he did two or three runs last week. He found that the running actually improved his fitness for football. And I'm pleased. I hope we've got another runner in the family then. I kind of like this, yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like this, yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like this, yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like this, yeah.